How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30, and I fig I decided to do a little, kind of a throwback for older popular video, at least in the Brody community. Um, this is My Little Dashy the Mini Movie, uh, done by Storm FX. I forgot his full name, but it was Storm F something. Um, I have seen some memes relating to this in the past, so I can figure this is gonna be sad. Like, this is something that a lot of people cried over when it came out, and it's based off of a, a fan fiction story. It was also sad, naturally. Um, yeah, my little dashy. Um, not a hundred percent sure whether I'll cry or not. I, I mean, I might not. Not too many things make me cry, but when they make me, when I cry, but you know, we'll see if this makes me cry. Not gonna waste any time. Oh, um, check the links in the description for the other things I'm in. Ruby Bridge. We just got our episode three released, which I think is pretty good. Um, it's even gotten some approval from. Uh, one of the other Ruby Abridged people out there is Zay Overseer. And also check out Blood Gutch Gaming and check out the original video for those interested. And let's just go. Let's not waste any more time. That's <coughs> ah, me. Here in my cat shirt. So, you know, I'm surrounded by emotion. <coughs> a cat dander, apparently. I don't, we don't even have a cat. Uh, let's go. The daily struggles I go through outweigh the small moments of joy I have. My little pony has help, but it's still XF, just Storm a XF3. thing to get my hopes up on. Every time I see the show or one of the ponies on a fan site, I recoil a little bit at the bright colors, the joyful faces of the ponies, and the peaceful scenery of their world. It's so hard to look at that beautiful world, having it so close to my grasp. That's a nice touch of the music. That's nice. Only to be stopped by my computer screen. <laughs> it's like, no, dark dang you, computer! Why must you block me from what I love? When I feel sad, I walk. When I feel tired, I walk. When I feel like walking, I walk. Walking has become my second life, in a sense. Mm -hmm. I spend at least half my day outside along the crumbling sidewalks and decaying suburbs. Well, walking is good for your health. I live my life one day at a time. A good portion of those Narrator, days are uneventful. Derpy Pony into the same routine. <laughs> I wake up, walk to work, work, walk home. Then I'll bum around until I go to bed. Sometimes I'll hang with my few friends. While other times I'll just play video games or watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Both good pastimes. Living in Actually, a all three good pastimes. Isn't very interesting this city was once full of life and color but now now most of the houses are sagging the businesses mm. sit empty and abandoned and the open fields lay barren of the once great factories that helped drive the local economy i never saw the city during those times yeah. but i have seen pictures sounds like times when some of the more painting. rural once everything crumbled beneath more rural cities would Making prosper, but now a lot of people are still going to the bigger cities and abandoning the other communities that they grew up in. It's just sad. That yielded to a parking garage. And over it, she drew this amazing rainbow. It's by far my favorite picture. And I guess that's why I like Rainbow Dash the most out of all the other ponies. Her colors, the amazing sonic rainbow. All of that reminds me of her picture. Hmm, that's nice. Today, as usual, I had walked to work. It was the same shit, just a different day. Same shit, different day. I watched the same people come into the store, grab their merchandise, pay for it, and then walk out with bags and tow. This now, is probably going to be one of my longest reactions area, to. I see trash all the time. Boxes and plastic bags littered the streets and empty fields. Rarely would I see a cardboard box that isn't crushed in one way or another. It's just sitting there, sad and alone, among the broken concrete and Dashy. overgrown grass. It doesn't move or stand out as if it were special. It's just an ordinary brown 
cardboard box. Inside is a sleeping, filly, rainbow dash. There is not a physical or a mental or extraterrestrial way how this could be here. How she could be here in my gloomy, dark, and horrible world. The very first thought that runs through my mind, besides the initial Philly Rainbow Dash in the box, is who in the world would give up a Philly Rainbow Dash? It's a dash in a box. My heart explodes twice. <laughs> I have this <laughs> in years. That was ice. What are you doing out here? I am so not sure how to handle this situation. Do I take her home? Do I call somebody? Uh, who would I even call? Yeah. She would probably be taken off to some lab and experimented on. Honestly, I only have one choice here. They would probably just assume she was painted over. I have no clue what's going on. Where she is, who I am, or anything else. Except they would ask why she looked animated. She's beyond the word lost. She's misplaced. Right now, there is nothing else that matters to me. Does misplaced work? Because it's like, oh no, I miss. Painful heart. I misplaced my glasses. I cannot find them. I need them to see so I can see what other things I've misplaced. And I'm listening. I'm experiencing at this moment as I'm listening. Awake on my couch. She is here. She is real. Right now, she's my little pony. She is my little. He said it. He said it, guys. He said it. It's only been about four months since I brought the young rainbow dash in. Time jump. I did what little research I could on the matter, but, but I've come to no conclusion. I really have no idea why she's here, and quite frankly, I don't care. These few months with her have been the most amazing time of my life. Like she's seriously she pissed at that thing? She's heart up to love and joy, amongst other things. Right now, she sits next to me on the couch as I watch TV. That's adorable. She seems to enjoy the morning cartoons on the local stations, and I've kind of come to enjoy them too. She acts a lot like a young kid would, but then again, why wouldn't she? She is a kid. Thing is she's been learning to talk. Now, I'm not much of a teacher, or for that matter, a parent, but I'm doing my best to help her learn to speak and read. I've decided since I actually don't know her actual birth date, I'm going to make the day I found her her birthday, September the 17th. And oddly enough, that's the very same day that the second season of my life aired last year. I quit watching the show after that. Read her this book. There was no reason. It's a great read. And honestly, one of the few fan fictions to actually be produced. It's not canon, but it's still good. She's able to fully communicate with me now, as well as read English. And she's even started to learn how to write with, you guessed it, her mouth. I did try to invent some things for her hoof so she could write, but it seems writing with her mouth is more natural than moving her hoof around. One thing that troubles me with her, though, every day she sits at a window looking outside. I'm not worried about her being seen by passerbys. I live on a dead-end street, so that's the least of Okay, so what's the problem? Still, though she hasn't said anything to me yet, I can see the hunger for fresh air in her eyes. I really can't keep her in here her entire life. <laughs> I keep talking like she's going to be here forever. I know that isn't true. One day, someday... She'll return home, whether that's a simple poof and she's gone, or perhaps through some other means. In my heart, I thought I you were getting mad at a thing and she was gonna die already. Like, ah! in my head, <clears throat> I never will. It's just a matter of when. I do hope to get her outside sometime soon. Yeah, she needs fresh air. Some of the abandoned lots and former parks on my walk. Open a window. From work, seeing where the best location would be to take her. Funnily enough, it seems the field that I played at growing up was the best option. So that's when I decided I shall take her to the field. But how will I get her there? You'll She's walk her. She's relatively small, so I can hide her inside a jacket or something. Okay, that works. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day anyway. I've been taking her to that old field for weeks in hopes that I could help her learn how to fly. There's this large tree there with branches sticking out over a grassy terrace. That's a mountain. The perfect spot for her to practice. If she falls and I can't catch her... At least she'll have something remotely safe to land on. She fell a lot, and the, I knew she would. The ground. There were many scrapes, cuts, and bruises towards her goal. But finally, after 
many weeks of work. She did it. She flew. Now, it was only a short distance, about 50 feet or so, but still, she did it. She's a little scraped up, but she's beaming with pride. Another thing that had been brought to my attention. She asked me about having her own room, and I got to thinking. I realized the house does have a spare bedroom. Okay, so you're treating her like you're, she's your kid? I'm assuming. Several of my old toys. You know, she might enjoy them. Though she is getting older, I'm not sure how entertaining they'd be for her. But if she has her own room, I can get her her own things so that she can feel somewhat normal. Okay. She is pretty smart for a filly and knows the difference between our species. However, she still knows nothing about her origin. She's just not ready yet. The only thing I can do is keep her happy. Yeah, don't show her the Brony community. Today, Seriously, don't do it. Celebration. But today, my little dashie got her cutie mark. She didn't even know what it was until I had explained it to her. Now she's even more ecstatic than before. It was just a normal field outing, but this time she decided she wanted to see how high she could get in an attempt to gain speed from the fall. All the right things factored for her. How she positioned herself, her mental focus. It's on a grand boom. Possibly me on the ground watching and cheering. But she did it. Yep. I knew you could break the sound barrier, but to actually do the rainbow part two, my mind was blown. So the Just like everyone else's mind and say, where the hell did that rainbow explosion come, come from? To the next county. We rushed home before anyone could arrive in the field. Yeah. I was lucky. None of my windows were broken. Do that. Though that was her highlight of the day, mine was just moments ago. She has now come accustomed to sleeping in her own room versus me on the couch. Now I can sleep in my own bed once more. But I do keep the door unlocked, so if she needs me, she can come get me. This is adorable. To bed and told her good night when she said it. Good night, Daddy. Oh! I love you. Good. Good night, my little dashie. <laughs> For the first time, not only did she call me Daddy, which she has done on occasion, but she even said, "I love you." I would have thought the first time she said "Daddy" would have been more so heart blowing. The few times she has called me daddy, I didn't think anything of it. I could picture why she called me that. Being with her so much has made me accept it as part of taking care of her. Doesn't reduce the doff, the cuteness factor. And she said those three words, and the realization finally sank into my heart. I am her daddy, and quite frankly, I consider her my daughter. Dude, this is gonna hurt. I think I've finally done it. I have broken my hard shell that had formed when my parents died. Ooh. I've let a sweet little filly into my life. I gave her a home to live in, food to eat, and now a daddy to love. This is gonna hurt. She has Damn, dude, this is gonna hurt. Compassion, and now something I thought I'd never utter. A daughter. Oh, geez, this is gonna hurt bad. I believe Dashie is now at her full size, rounding in at about three feet tall. Yeah. She's fully grown. Looks about right. Though she's only 10 years old according to my math, I believe she's actually closer to 14 or 15 in actual years. So we celebrated five missed birthdays. I got a new job, one that pays much more than my old one. Okay, good. Dad, you... she even talked about getting a job, but then she remembered what I told her. The look on her face was heartbreaking. Mm. Luckily, I have a way to fix this. Due to the sheer size of the property, it involves a lot of cutting of grass. Tomorrow, I'll modify a lawnmower for her to use so that she can have a job. I'll even pay her so that she can buy her own stuff if she wants. According to the show, she was a weather pony, and I don't have her mess with Mother Nature unless it's a dire emergency. So there really isn't any job there for her. I wouldn't imagine. I don't know when, but I have the sudden feeling our time together is running out. All of this has been too good to be true. This is gonna hurt. Today, has to be the worst time of my life, even more than when my parents died. Dashi found out the truth before I could tell her myself. I remember I walked in from work with some Ooh. groceries, set them in the kitchen, and walked into the living room. That's when I saw it. My heart sank. I knew that episode. She 
um, there are going to be questions. sat down, turned off the television, and told her everything. Well, gee, way to avoid copyright there. Finding her and answered any other question she had for me. After our argument, she flew upstairs into her bedroom and slammed the door shut. An hour later, I went to check on her, but no response told me she'd flown off. I can only hope that she comes back. Or at least, if she doesn't, she stays away from any other people. All I can say to her at this point... Is that I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. It's been three days since Dashie left. Rain, I think. The night of her departure, I did something I hadn't done in a very long time. I went for a walk. I wasn't sure where I was going or how long I walked. Oh, is that serious? I did. It's three days later, and I'm finding myself out here walking once again. I got a bad feeling. Yeah, I think you should have said something, I don't know, a year before? A couple weeks, maybe? I I heard you. And I'm sorry too. Dashi, you have nothing to be sorry about. This is my fault. Yeah, you screwed up. I feel bad for you, but you screwed up. At least you're owning up to it. I've always loved you. I still love you. No it's feels just a little forced. I get it's a, even a small fight. I, I get it's a fan work. But there's some parts that it's just a I'm little sure forced. she'll relax and settle down about her being in the cartoon. But she is a smart mm, mare. Still pretty hard though. She's real. Still pretty hard though. Made up cartoon pony from the show. I can only help to push her into believing that and hope that she'll do the same for me. There is a point in every parent's life when they have to let their child go. Mm. On her 20th birthday, I had planned a special outing to go see a flight show. As we prepared to leave, there was a knocking at the door. Is that the Blue Angels? Dash, go to your room. Uh, I'll, I'll be a moment. When I first saw the figure standing on my porch, I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or hallucinating. Oh! She come to she take her home! Second looking at Try Applejack ready fighter shoppings. Oh, she. I'm quite surprised. I had expected a little more resistance to us entering. Why? I know who you all are. Ah, so you do know them. That you are fictional characters from a children's TV show? Then yeah. Otherwise, why you're all here? I have no idea. Oh, oh come on! You can't be that stupid. Fell into the pits of my stomach. Yeah, you should have known. Was like straight to the point about it. Um, excuse me, sir, but from what we could figure out, Rainbow Dash should be here. Is she? She, um, yeah, she's upstairs in in her room. Her room. Yeah, Dashie's in her room. I wasn't sure who was knocking, and I didn't want her to be spotted. Dashie, <laughs> my my. You're that friendly with her already? I wanted to punch that pony so hard right then. Oh, we got a rarity hater here. Friendly? That's not even the beginning of it. And I should be asking you ponies about what the hell you did. You see, my student... I know who she is. Would you just cut to the chase? Yes, of course. <clears throat> Major lack of human face. 
along with the lines. They had ended up making a slightly too large storm, and when Twilight had attempted to use her magic to dispel it, it shot a lightning bolt out to meet her horn. Rainbow Dash was unfortunate enough to be within reach of the blast. Uh -huh. engulfed her and sent her to here. We have arrived to retrieve her. Simple enough, I would imagine. Dad? Is everything all right? It was in that second that my heart stopped beating. Uh, excuse me, Sugar Cube. Did I just hear Rainbow call you Dad? Uh. Don't care to explain. There was only one thing I could do. And I had to do it, but I knew I wouldn't like it. Dad? Yeah, Dashing, I'm coming up. We need to talk. You could have at least said she's been here a few years. When she came here, she was a kid. Ah, so she you mean to tell her memory regressed. Have you been taking care of Rainbow Dash for 15 years since she was a small filly? Then why aren't you gray, dude? Uh, she is. I know it's not true. I think I understand the reason behind why Rainbow Dash have called you dad. So what's supposed to happen now? Oh, here it comes. It's quite simple. Twilight, do you still remember that memory spell from the Discord incident? I knew what was going on, what Celestia had in mind. She wanted Twilight to either erase Dash's memories or start from anew. No, please wait. Just give me a moment with her, please. It's all I ask since, uh, since this is the last time we'll see each other. So she's not dying. This will feel, feel better on me. Not to to sound like a dick. To open me up for the man I once was. You but uh death hits me harder than this. So much joy in my life. Even though I've had ever thank you for it all. These well, years we have had together, talking, playing, flying. All those have been so life situation for me was very different, but still involved the separation being away from my parents. Ever a problem that well, my dad. Don't hesitate to find a way to get me, okay? Divorce is a bitch, that's all I'll say. I have to, to go, Daddy? It's your actual home, Dashie. You don't belong here. But I belong here, with you. You have no friends or other ponies to relate to. I was only... Of course, Flutter's just crying. Of course, Flutter's just crying. coming and it hurt so much but i knew it was right it was what had to happen at least you didn't jump in the way you didn't jump in the way friends. and in a twisted way for me wait before i go i want to get something what are you getting a letter i knew she had realized this is how it must end box from my guessing was probably her most cherished items though it hurt me to think about it i hoped she had a picture of us in there hmm. i'm so sorry rainbow dash i i honestly wish there was another way to do this just how could i blame anybody for sending rainbow dash here i wish to thank you twilight and the rest of you thank you for what you did though not intentionally 
Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Even though it was an accident, she did help him get his life back up. Back up and go on. Oh, that was a cute picture in the background. The memory spell or the teleportation spell? Teleportation and memory, which one is it? Maybe, just maybe, would have been slightly more heartbreaking if she remem had all of her memories and remembered her real parents. Dad, Which... for 15 years you took care of me. For 15 years you loved me, played with me, and made sure I enjoyed my life in a world not meant to house me. I'm not... I just gotta mention, point out, I like the attention, to, uh, the, this is one of the attentions to detail that I like. Wherein they actually took the time to write a letter for this. They didn't just type it out and then print it. They actually wrote it out, and you can tell. Like, wow. Mayor of many words. That's good. That's good detail. A bit. This is still rain, but I just seem to be stubborn. I hope to allow you to keep our photos, our memories, with you so that you will never forget. Again, I love you and thank you. Your little daughter always. Your little dashing forever. Rainbow Dash. That was nice. That was nice. It's not over yet, so I'm assuming credits. Okay. Well, this was... I don't know if it was this video in particular that was what caught the fandom by storm. I'm assuming it was one of them because it does, does have over 20 million... quite a few million views to it. Um... Yeah. That was... Pretty good. Pretty well done. Hmm. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. It was admittedly it, it was kinda sad, but it doesn't hit me so bad because I grew up for those who didn't hear me mention it in a prior video. Like, my parents divorced when I was very young. Like, when I was starting to remember young. Like, two or three years old. <clears throat> and then, when I was six, my mom moved me and my sister away from Georgia, where we were from, up to Alaska, where I currently live. And every year, it was a back and forth, where I'd only get to spend, see my dad one month every year. And that absolutely sucked, where before then, I would at least get to see him every other weekend, including my grandparents. So that, that I kind to kind of relate just a little bit. I know what it's like being away from your fa parent, but yeah, that's, that's I'm not a magical talking horse from another dimension who grew up with someone for 15 years and had to say goodbye because my friends came and said, this is until you are... Remember, come home. I was like, oh, I'm sad to see you go, but I gotta go. Oh. 
not to make light of all the sad stuff that did happen because it was sad. It was heartfelt. Um, but it, it stuff like this doesn't make me cry because when you grow up like that, I'm not the type to get sad just because I relate to something a little. Um, there are a few things that I know will make me cry. But, you know, I guess I've just become so numb to this kind of living that I it doesn't bring tears, but it makes me feel like, mm, okay, this is... This is this is sad. I, I kind of know what that's like. It does that to me. And I think, as far as reactions go, I think this is the longest reaction I have ever done. Because, wow, who wants to sit through 27 minutes of a reaction? Some people do. Not everyone, but some, but a fair number do. Um, I just wonder if any of you guys. So, anyways, I'm not going to... Shut up, Jane! I'm not going to waste a whole lot more time because I do have stuff to do today. Um, but I just wanted to get this one out there just so I could have something uploaded today. Don't know if I'll upload another thing later today or if I'll wait till tomorrow. But either way, this has been, I hope you guys enjoyed it with me. This has been Lance Crawlock 30 signing off.